Hey folks, how are we keeping? Good? Excellent. So, the weather down here today was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I was down, I, I, I go and feed ducks every day. This is a bit of a running joke. I go and see my wee ducks every day. And uh, lots of people phone me up. And all here in, in the background. Quack, 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 quack. And uh, they're getting very feisty at the mat because it's getting into, well, some of them are trying to be get amorous with the other ones, and it's all quite funny. But uh, yeah, so I go down feed my ducks, and then I went for a walk around the forest. I went walking down the beach, and there was some dolphins out in the bay today. Yeah, all in all, a pretty good day, pretty good day all told. Uh, talking to some old friends on the phone, which I think everybody's doing now more so than they've ever done before. And it's actually. It used to be I didn't particularly like talking on the phone, and now uh, it's the only real company you're going to get at the moment. You know, it's people chatting on the phone, on video calls, people have become a bit more relaxed doing it. Yeah, it's really, really good. Really good. Now, anyway, uh, I hope, hope your day went as well as mine did today. I've had, I've had a good day. It's been pretty good. Now, we're going to re review something that I... I knew, I knew it was coming, uh, and when it arrived this week, when it dropped this week, uh, launched, dropped, launched, whatever, whatever the term is these days, it uh, it was it was very pleasant to, to see, because as everybody knows, I really like the guys at Dumbbells. I really I like what they do, and they're a really nice bunch of people, etc., etc. Jarlis and whatnot are fabulous people. So this is a Dunvalls eighteen oh eight blend whiskey that is released let me just check this at 33 pounds a bottle okay uh not one of their single cask stuff that everybody wrestles to get their hold of and none of the 18 year old and, and rum casks and all that stuff that's it's really quite expensive it's fabulous stuff don't get me wrong but it's really quite expensive uh, and hard to get very limited this isn't this is part of a core core release now, wouldn't they see the bottle label? Okay, so Dunville's 1808. And then in the back, you have, so careful not to spill that, you have uh, Dunville's and the Flat Iron Building, which is now Bittles Bar. At one point, it was known as the Shakespeare Bar, because that's where all the people from the Opera House used to drink. Now, it shows you Dunville's whiskey sign, and you can see in the background over here uh, the Albert Memorial Clock of oh, Belfast Leaning Tower because it leans over a little bit. Now, I, I think this looks like a 1950s sort of film poster. It's got that kind of feel to it. And I, like that. I think it's really nice, actually. It's really cool. 40%. And it says a modern blend of pot still, malt, and grain whiskies. Confident, uncompromising, full of character. Like the city of its birth. Now, as everyone who knows, um, Belfast, Belfast sometimes just had a bit of a bad reputation. It's totally unwarranted, really. Um, it's, a, it's a great little city, full of very, very funny people. Now, there's this Renaissance, this. Um, how would you put it? A real pride in Belfast and what 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 the place has achieved over the years, which is quite considerable uh, in terms of lots and lots of engineering, uh, the, the likes of Titanic, most famous boat in the world. As we always say, it was all right when it left us. But uh, yeah, so and Donald's really take a pride in that I, I, the last review I did was, was uh, Samuel Gelson's and again they take pride in it being from Belfast they embrace that old history and that old tradition and yeah and good I, li I like people being proud of where they're from because they should be so this is their everyday drinking whiskey you know it's 33 pounds a bottle so very reasonably priced people you know people can afford that should be able to afford that, really, um, hopefully. If, if they're spending money on, on whiskey, then, then uh, that's what I mean. I know there's plenty of people who can't afford very much at the minute. But, 
but uh, you know what I mean. Thirty-three pound. It's not beyond anybody that's really interested in the whiskies. Now, it's because it's a mixture of green whiskey, malted uh, malt whiskey, and pot style whiskey. It's it's going to have a slightly different character than most people will be used to. On the nose, I'm getting a cereal, very cereal note. Uh, it's actually not the barley note that I'm normally used to. It's much, much more uh, alternative grain. It's, a, it's, a, it's got actually a, a slightly orange, uh, uh, oat, porridgey style note to it, which is a bit strange, really. There's vanilla coming through there, that bourbon cast vanilla. Um, there's a little, there's a little touch of smoke there. And I'm not a hundred percent sure. I wouldn't rule out that there's a tiny fraction of peat involved in this, but I thought they would have said it on the label, but they don't. So maybe there's not. But there is a there is an element of peat there. Tiny though it may be, is that there is definitely something that's given it a smoky characteristic. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. I think if it was Peter, they would say Peter on it, but there's definitely a smoke note on the nose. Yep, that's what it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm getting my, maybe my nose is a bit off. Decent mouthfeel. Um. Yeah, digestive biscuit again, a sort of porridgey, uh, cereal, <laughs> porridgey sort of cereal note to it that isn't really part. Well, I'm saying that the barley sort of come through there a bit on the finish, so maybe maybe it's just the cereal aspect of it that, that's moving along a little bit. A little bit of barley sugar in the finish too, a um, bit of vanilla, more barley sugar. More again, a little bit of cereal. Again, there's that tiny little touch of of peat coming through. Yeah, it's a tiny little smidgen, but it's definitely there. There's definitely something there. Yeah, it's a little strange one. Yeah, I don't know. I think. I think they've done something with this and they just haven't stated it on the ball. Yeah, lots of barley sugar on, coming in there. Again, that's slight, slightly um, cereal porridgey. No. A little bit of sweetness coming through there. That, that kind of takes it's not a to me it's overly sweet a little note of overly sweet sweetness it's, it's a sucrose sweetness which feels a, it feels a little bit added uh it, feel, it feels a little bit worked if you know what i mean to try and get try and get a little bit sweeter into it which isn't isn't as pleasant as as i would like again it's yeah, yeah, it's 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 almost like someone has added a teaspoon of sugar to it, which is sweet, and some people really like that. It's just not necessarily something that was that appeals to me a huge amount. Uh, yeah, that's it's, it's interesting, and I think I'm going to have to come back to this at some point and do it again. Because this is, I only got this uh, yesterday. Uh, maybe if I sat with it a while, it would it would change for me. But mm, yeah, 
there's a a tiny little pine pine note coming through there as well. Well, that 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 clean it's coming through there now. Yeah, tiny little bit of pine. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. I wouldn't say it's going to blow your socks off, but it's it's good. It's well made. Uh, and I like the, I like that, but it is trying a little bit too sweet for me. Uh, and it's and the sweetness, the sweetness doesn't sit that well. I don't think the sweetness really works. So, out of ten, it's thirty three pounds. It's at the higher end of the entry level. You look at its contemporaries. I'm going to say there's a complexity there that adds to it a bit. Just because I'm not necessarily enamoured of certain aspects of it, I do appreciate the complexity. So, for me, I'm going to give this... A t I'm going to give this 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I think it's good... good value for money it's decent value for money and there's the, the, the complexity that's there will appeal to lots of people it's just a little sweet for me and not in a good way now yeah probably not meant to appeal to people like me you know the, the probably meant to appeal to probably a slightly younger uh, guys and girls who are out having a little drink of an evening um, and, and this is this is where probably where they're looking to go I personally think at the minute Irish whiskey needs everyday drinkers alternative and everyday drinkers and uh, some of them are, are very good some of them don't they're not moving far enough away but then again you have to look at the cost and all that kind of stuff so with that in mind, I give it six and a half out of ten. And I think that's pretty good. That's okay. It's alright. Now, with that in mind, I shall bid you farewell. Go and have a, a wonderful day tomorrow. Because I, I hope tomorrow is as good as it was today. Uh, just a, a nice day today. One of those days. And at the minute, with the whole restrictions and lockdown and so on and so forth. That's what we need. Okay. <laughs> so listen, guys, pleasure as always. Talk to you again soon. Remember, you can join me and Justin at 10pm on Saturday night, Facebook Live and YouTube. Or you can catch up with them on YouTube. The, all the shows are recorded and kept. And also then the podcast. So if you say to Alexa and Google Assistant, isn't it? Uh, say to Google Assistant, uh, play the Irish Whiskey Review. You hear myself and Justin Whitter and away and other people popping in to talk about sense. So, with that in mind, guys, have a good time, enjoy yourselves, and rem remember, guys, another wee quick word of warning. So, I'm very preachy tonight, but uh, just uh, if you uh, people in lockdown, I know lots of people are starting to drink a little bit too much, and I, I wholeheartedly hold my hands up and say under lockdown I think my, my alcohol consumption has went up so I just need to keep an eye on it okay so drink responsibly take care of yourself guys and uh, enjoy okay stay safe okay bye bye